What's up guys, just wanted to make a quick little video about all of the latest announcements that have been coming in the drone world, specifically from GoPro and also DJI. Drones have come so far in the past few years, so I wanted to just talk about where they've come from, where they are today, and where we think they may be going in the future. So to start, I just want to give a little history. I started out, I've got this little box here, I started with this thing, look at this remote. This is the remains of the first one that I had. It's a disaster. There was no GPS. It wouldn't stay where you put it. So I got it stuck in a, a tree across the street. I had to get a long ass pipe and uh, just no good. This is called the FC40 and it had this built in camera, which I thought was going to be awesome. You could go for like 200 feet at the most. The video was horrible and this thing was basically useless. It was fun to learn how to fly. It was very primitive. This is the the Phantom 3 Pro. Built-in gimbal, awesome camera, shot 4K. The problem with this is it's heavy and it's hard to carry. First and foremost, I'm a photographer and so I always carry camera gear. I'd always want to bring these things with me, but I never had a great bag to carry them in. Anyways, this thing ended up crashing on me uh, a couple months ago out of nowhere. Just flying it in the middle of the sky, it just, it literally just fell out of thin air and uh, bent the gimbal and busted off the side of the landing gear here. This is the Phantom 4, and this thing is sweet too. Super great quality, again, built-in gimbal. Love this thing. Problem again, heavy, big, hard to carry. So, there's been a couple announcements lately. GoPro came out with their first drone. I was ecstatic. I saw this thing. I was really excited for the announcement. I looked at it and I just went, uh, this thing just seems kind of clunky. It seems cheap the way it bent together and folded up. I loved the smaller size about it, but it just wasn't right. A couple days later, I got an email from DJI uh, from their mailing list saying that you know, on the, I think it was the 27th of September, they were going to announce something big. And so I thought I'd wait until then to see maybe if they were going to announce something that would compete with the GoPro drone. And they did. They came out with the Mavic and it looks perfect. <laughs> it looks so good. It's tiny. It folds up so beautifully. Uh, it's it's about the size of a water bottle they say there's a ton of videos around Casey Neistat's made some great videos I Justine's got some cool videos Michael Shane Bloom they've all got these great videos about this drone and it really convinced me that that was the one for me because I no longer have to worry about a bag specifically to carry my drone So if you've followed our channel for any length of time, you've seen some of our Sunday School videos. If you haven't, you should really check them out. Uh, but there's a lot of drone footage in those videos. I would always bring my drone um, just to get some really cool shots of what was around me and kind of give an overall perspective of where I was. And what you didn't always see was the struggle to have all the camera gear and all the drone gear and everything it took to make those videos because there was nothing really easy about carrying it all. There was no great bag to carry everything at once. This was my first thing to carry the DJI FC40 in. And you see, it's just, it's, it's, massive. I'm not going to carry this thing around like hiking and stuff. It was just not fun. I got this DJI bag, which 
made me look like a ninja turtle when I was carrying it. I'd have this bag, and then I'd have like a separate bag for all my camera gear, or in one Sunday school video, I actually jimmy rigged my camera and a tripod onto the outside of this bag so I'd only have to carry one. I got it to the point where I was stuffing this thing inside of my f-stop bag and the top of it and it was just it was just never easy. I found this from Manfrotto. It's got a spot for a tripod on the outside. The drone fits well in here. It's got a spot for the remote and it's got this like baby pocket right here for your camera gear and you can normally fit like a camera and a lens. Again, not perfect. But with the new Mavic, I can use my normal camera bag and just stick that thing right in the top with the remote and I'm done. Needless to say, I got one coming. I'm excited. I can't wait for it to get here. As soon as it does, I'm going to give you the unboxing because I'm going to be so excited I want to share it with you. Once that's done and I get some time to fly with it, we'll come back and we'll also give you a full report on what we think, the pluses, the minuses, just overall what we think of this thing. I don't know what they're going to be able to come out with next because I'm pretty sure the Mavic's going to be perfect. We'll see. Thanks.